So my name is Nathan Smart. I'm 19 years old and I am a musician and media producer. My career, I suppose, started way back when I was about 12, 11 or 12 years old. Um, in year seven, I really started to enjoy music and singing. So I started producing music video covers of songs and putting them onto a new YouTube channel called Nathan Smart Music, which I still do to this day. So over the past few years, I've had a couple of setbacks that mostly relate to the release of my music. Um, it can be pretty disheartening when you pour six months of your time and passion into a song and a music video and a release schedule and promotion and all of this stuff and you put the song out and you expect it to go absolutely viral and you'll get a record deal and you'll be successful and you'll go on Ellen and everything happens. But then the video goes out and it gets like 5,000, 10,000 views, not what you expected. That has in the past really affected me and it's really disheartening. It makes you want to give up for a while and you think, well, what's the point if no one's going to watch it? Why do I bother? But um, I've gotten to a point now where instead of dwelling on what I did in the past, I just instantly look into the future. So a couple months ago, I released a new single and I just put the song out. Regardless of how well it does, I just think forward and think, well, what can I do next? How can I better this? Advice to young artists who are yet to make their debut is to focus on the literal, the debut of you as an artist, because you have friends who, who know that you sing and things like that, but you're not an artist yet. So really consider everything that it takes to be an artist. Consider the image that you're gonna have, the branding that you're gonna have. Are you gonna have an alias? What's your sound gonna be? You know, all of these things. And before you launch a song or, or even just a cover video on YouTube, make sure that you know, if the right person stumbles upon that first video that you look like an artist, because that could make or break any chances that you have in being in the industry, because it's so important to be an artist and not just a singer. Over the next 10 years, it's hard to tell where I would be because a few years ago, I wouldn't imagine that I'd be here where I am now. In terms of the sound that I have at the moment and the image that I have at the moment, it's definitely not what I imagined when I was 15 and 16. So I couldn't really tell you where I'll be in 10 years because I never thought I'd be doing anything in the hip hop area or any rap or anything like that. Whereas at the moment, I really enjoy it. And I find it, I think it's so much fun and I'm probably gonna branch further into that area. But at the same time, I still love singing and uh, doing pop music. So if I can strike a balance in between those and find a spot in the market that sort of will cater for that and that needs that, then I'll head into that direction, but could swing either way, not too sure at the moment.